I'm Lucy Danziger, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Self Magazine. And I'm Katherine Bergdorf. I'm a women's mental health psychiatrist. And together we've written a book called The Nine Rooms of Happiness to help women be happier in every room of their emotional house and not let the little things bring them down. I help women with this all the time in my practice, and we can help you too. So let's go outside and hear from some real women about the things that they're thinking about today. If everything should be going well, like you should be having a happy day, but you're not, like what's the thought that, that enters your brain that steals your happiness? If you're unhealthy. Um, when I can't find an outfit in the morning when I have plenty of clothes. So when I get home after a long day of work and the apartment is a total mess, it drives me crazy and it makes me feel like my whole life is coming undone. That's what I do. All the work for the kids, I pack the lunch, I pick out the clothes, I buy the clothes, I wash the clothes. Um, and then my husband sweeps in and he gets credit because he knows how to build the Lego Taj Mahal. Am I, am I making other people happy? Like, are my, are my friends happy with me? Am I being a good roommate? And everyone tries to be politically correct and act like, oh yeah, you know, being a mother is one of the most important jobs in the world, but you know, sometimes you feel like you still have a big L on your forehead because you're not doing some more. Being broke. I would completely agree, the money situation, trying money. to handle the money. I am often, you know, really excited to get to bed, to play, and he I know that he wants to do the same thing, but he's just so tired. He likes to purposefully say things so that my ego doesn't get too high. The expectations of uh, being Chinese and taking care of uh, your family and being respectful to your elders. When I have to like yell at my 14-year-old son four times to come upstairs for dinner. Actually, he's always forgetting something. If it's not the Metro cards, it's the glasses. If it's not the glasses, it's the homework. And there are more stories just like that in the Nine Rooms of Happiness. And solutions. We have helpful strategies for how to think about your issues. So you can be happier wherever you are. What room are you in?